Hello, hi, and welcome. And my name is Venkat Sriram, and I am a machine learning intern at Indian Servers. And uh, today, I am from Team Thirty Five, going to present the final project of my internship: facial expression detection with convolutional neural networks. So let's go how the project will work. We are going to discuss the introduction part. The, what are the dependencies used in this project? The data preparation, algorithms, and finally references and limitations. Future implementations. So, this project aims to classify the emotion on a person's face into one of these seven categories using convolutional neural networks. The facial expression recognition software is a technology which uses the biometric markers to detect emotions in human faces. This more precisely, this technology is sentiment analysis tool too, and can be able to automatically detect the six basic universal expressions like happiness, sad, anger, surprise, fear, and disgust. So uh, let's see our output and the result of this project. Let's I'm going to run about my final app and uh, I have given the mode equal to display, which means display my project as well. It will automatically open my webcam as well, and it was showing neutral as my face detection after smiling as happy, and I'm in normal situation. It was showing neutral. At, and it can able to detect multiple faces at a time and i'm showing pictures in my mobile and uh, it was able to detect those pictures and those emotions also in the fo photograph or screen at, as well so in this picture we can see about the it can able to detect my original face as well as the uh, photos and the screen faces are always and can able to detect the expressions of a person. Uh, for this project, I have used the TensorFlow and OpenCV Python libraries. And for TensorFlow, Keras, I'm going to build my model using convolutional neural networks. And with OpenCV, I'm I'm going to detect the faces and using the live webcam as well. So the facial ex expression detection using CNN can be categorized into four parts. And the first part will be data pre-processing as an important uh, phase in building my project. And uh, the image augmentation will really increases our data set and feature extractions made our project more accuracy after training and validation. So the data set I have taken was FER 2013, which was released by Machine Learning Conference in 2013. In this data set particularly, it was about 28,709 pictures which was in the form of pixels. So in the data set, the only, the, it contains emotion, pixels and uses, only these three columns. The emotions from 0 to 6 represents the angry, fear, happiness, sad, neutral, etc. And the pixel, the list of pixel represents the uh, particular image of a person. And the usage, uh, there are two uses, one is training phase and uh, another one is testing phase so the data set contains the pictures all stored in the form of list of pixels in this data set we need to extract those pixels into in images so this is a code for data pre-processing which i uh, have to convert those pixel images into single final output pixel in the other words i have to convert those pixels into images which was uh, resized into 48 by 48 pixels and we are using the uh, uh, scikit-learn's training test split for splitting the data and the data test will be on 20% for validation 80% will be trained uh, and after pre-processing data we are going to store those particular data uh, in the folders alignment like this that in the data there are two folders one is train and test in the train angry disgusted all these 0 to 6 labels has been classified based upon the labeling technique so this is the classification technique code which I would use to classify those images uh, by means of their emotion signs 0 to 6. So uh, after after placing, after pre-processing the data, the data augmentation has to be done in order to increase our product project accuracy. That generally the data augmentation is applied to increase the uh, accuracy by means of altering the images as well this was the code for generating the data augmentation for our images and i had used the convolutional tuity technique for fairly simple operation and it uses a kernel which is simply called a matrix of weights 
This kernel slides over the 2D input data for performing element-wise multiplication the part of input is currently on and then summing up the results into a single or two pixels. In the data set we are having the list of uh, multiple pixels of a list. So we need to convert those results into a single output pixels. Further this convolutional 2D will, uh, will help us to create that. And further the optimizer loss function and matrices has been done. The cross entropy log loss measures the performance of classification model. At the same time, the predicted probability derives from the actual label. So predicting the probability of 0. Uh, 0.012 and the actual observation label is 1 could be a bad result in higher loss values. So for that, the global average pooling is used to minimize the overfitting the, by reducing the total number of parameters in the model. Similarly, the max pooling layers, the global average pooling layers are useful to reduce the spatial dimensions of the three-dimensional tensor. So I'm importing this global average pooling 2D as a part of building my model. After building my model, the validation, the validation phase can be detected by means of uh, uh, bounding, detecting the phase and bounding a rectangular box throughout the phase. And after bounding that phase, we have to label the bounded box with the uh, emotion which the go what the system has been defected. For that, I imported the Keras model, the max argument as the input. The rectangle drawn in the facial output can be given in that phase. This was the JSON file which I was used to draw that rectangular box in order uh, like in capturing the webcam. So and uh, coming on to the performance evolution, the as we can see the model accuracy has been increased while the epochs increases. I have performed about 50 ep epochs in order to increase the model accuracy. My model accuracy was about 65 to 66 percentage accuracy on the validation set in the CNA. And uh, the model loss can be decreased of, by increasing of these epochs. There is a lot of time of uh, making performing evaluation. So my model accuracy was about 65 percent. There are some limitations about this project. The project can able to detect multiple expression in the photographs as well as mobile screens. See in case any security alert, the the see the, the software can able to detect the screen and photos also. In that in that situation, there might be a limitation to that. And there is no proper user interface and the deployment for this project. And the project has only done with only 65% accuracy only. We need to improve and increase that accuracy. And the improvement of the data set also needed as the data set contains only pure data, about 27 images. Those was not enough to uh, increase that uh, model accuracy. For that limitations, uh, in this picture, dip, uh, in this picture depicts for that the future implementation also done in order to deployment. So for that I'm using this more interactive with web interface and deployment. I'm decided to use the Streamlit software as a part of my web interface and deployment purpose. As in this picture, you can see that uh, it can uh, by applying this face mesh application using media pipe, it can able to detect the only particular live human persons only. It was by creating the frames and detecting the faces. It can able to predict the faces, not the faces in the screen itself. So by implementing this face mesh application using media pipe with the streamlit uh, web interface software, we can improve our model as well and we can improve the project further. So I have, uh, have applied for the Streamlit license as well for deploying my project. Soon I'm going to release the another version of this project. Thank you Indian servers for giving me this valuable internship in order to gain some experience in machine learning and the deep learning as well. Thank you.